Hey, pleasant good morning to you. Uh, freedom and independence. Uh, in Exodus chapter 21 and verse 1, it says, uh, well, well let, me, let me go from further down. It says, if his master have given him a wife, and she have borne him sons or daughters, the wife and her children shall be her masters, and he shall go out by himself. And if the servant shall plainly say, I love my master, my wife, and my children, I will not go out free. Then his master, listen to this, shall bring him unto the judges. He shall also bring him to the door or unto the doorpost. And his master shall bore his ear true with an awl, and he shall serve him forever. What is explained here, the Bible is reflecting. The Bible is reflecting slavery, and somebody's going to say the Bible agrees with slavery. I'm not discussing that. The Bible is reflecting slavery in that, in that society, and the Bible is actually showing that if a man was a slave to another, and he got children within the master's house, and he wants his independence, uh, his freedom, then that individual has to go by himself. But if he chooses uh, and he wants to stay uh, because he has children and a wife, then the master has to bore his ear in front of the judges. And he's saying that I don't want my freedom. I don't want my independence. I want to continue serving uh, my master for the rest of my life. Now listen to this. Uh, I have looked at countries that gained the independence uh, from the mother country. And I constantly hear citizens, people complaining, well, it's better we had stayed connected to the mother country. I didn't, I, I didn't give my vote. But I asked myself, were these countries better off when they were attached to the mother country? That's for you to answer. I don't have an answer for that. I don't have an answer for that. Uh, but listen to this. Uh, listen to this. You realize that on many occasions, when a country has gained independence uh, from a mother country, they try to run the independent country, similar to how the mother country was run. Let me make a switch forward. Let me make a switch forward. Uh, you know that you coming from a home of origin, I run this through as an old man. You know, even though I got my independence from my parents, in other words, I'm not connected to them. You know, some of the same ways they used to think and the attitudes, some of the similar decisions that they made, you know, I make it happily. And I'm happy for that because my parents were God-fearing parents. So I am saying that even though I say I am free and I'm independent, running an independent family of my parents, is a similar way I run mine because I'm trying to run my family in a God-fearing way like my parents did. And I want to share this text last with you. In John chapter 8 and verse 36 it says, If the Son therefore shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. So a person, we deal with spiritual matters now, a person is only free when they surrender their life to Jesus Christ and they keep God's commandments and they do what Jesus Christ says, that is when a person is really independent and free. Happy independence to you, wherever you are, Grenadians, uh, happy independence to you. God and Father, I ask in a special way today that you bless our leaders of this country, uh, those in government, those in opposition, our prime minister and his cabinet. I ask in a special way that you bless them as they lead our independent country. Guide us as we go through the day I ask. In Jesus' name, amen. May God richly bless you.